Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm going to show you two ways to add lazy loading to your Angular apps. If you want to jump ahead, here are the timestamps. In part one, we're going to build an app from scratch. We'll have both eager and lazy loaded components. And in part two, we're going to take an existing app and change it so you don't have to start over from scratch, but all your components can be lazy loaded. Before we begin, I want to thank my subscriber Figduff for the suggestion of this video, so thank you very much. In part one, we're going to build a new app with lazy loading built in. So ng new, and I'll call it lazy loader. Would you like routing? Yes. And CSS. Okay, let's go into the lazy loader folder, CD lazy loader, and I'll make two components. The first one, ng generate component or nggc home. And this will be my eager loader. It'll always load when the user starts the app. And now I'll make a lazy loaded component. But in Angular, we can't actually make components lazy loaded. They have to be modules ng generate module or nggm and I'll call this dashboard and we're going to add routing so dash dash route and then we're going to say dashboard again dash dash module app dot module this is what adds lazy loading from the start now I'll open up the code and I'll open a new tab and run the project ng serve dash dash port 4202 dash dash open okay the app is up and running First thing I'm going to do is go to source app app component.html, go to the very bottom, and we're just going to keep the router outlet line. And the app will go blank. Now I'll go into home and to dashboard. So dashboard component.html, and I'll add a button to home. And then on home, I'll add a button to dashboard. So next I'll go to source app app routing module. And I can see that I have one route to the dashboard, but I don't have anything to home. So I'll import home, and I'll add home to the routes, and then I'll add a catch-all as well. And that catch-all will go to home. So now if I come to the app, home works. And if I go to dashboard, it works. But let's make sure it lazy loads. So inspect, and go to network, and refresh. Here we can see all the files coming in. And if dashboard is lazy loaded, there, we added the dashboard file. So that is the simple way to add lazy loading. Now for part two, we're going to build an eager loading app, just a normal app, and then we're going to retroactively make it lazy loading. Angular lets lazy loading happen to modules, not to components. So if we look at what we did in part one, our eager loading home only has component files. Our lazy loading has component files and a module and a routing file for that module. So what we're going to do is build an eager loading app and the eager loading components will be turned into lazy loading modules. So let's go. For this app, I'm going to call it eager loader. So ng new eager loader. Would you like routing? Yes. And CSS. OK, let's go into that folder, cd eager loader. Now we're going to make two components, same as in part one, ng generate component hiote home and ng generate component dashboard. OK, let's open up code, and let's open a new tab and start serving this. ng serve dash dash port 4202 dash dash open. OK, our app's up. First thing we're going to do is go to source app app component.html and just keep the router outlet line. And now we're going to do the same thing as we did on part one, add a button from home to dashboard and dashboard to home. So home, home.html and a button to dashboard, and then dashboard, dashboard.html, and a button back to home. Now, we're going to link these up just like you would have on an existing app. So go to app routing module. We'll import both components, and we'll add them to the routes. So we see we have an eager loading app. Now it's time to make this lazy loading. To do that, we go back to terminal, and I'm going to leave home as eager loading but I'm going to make dashboard lazy loading so we can see a mix. ng generate module dashboard dash dash routing dash dash module app dot module. Now this command is pretty close to what we did in part one, creating a new module that's lazy loaded. And I'll leave this up. As we run this command, you'll see that dashboard is going to get three new files files. So we have the dashboard module and the dashboard routing module. 
Now, again, Angular doesn't allow components to be lazy loaded, so we're going to do a trick. We're going to lazy load the module and then have the module contain our existing dashboard component. So to do that, first we go to app routing module. We no longer need dashboard to come in. Now we'll go to app module and we don't want dashboard component or dashboard module here. So we'll comment all of that out. So now we go to dashboard module and here's the trick. We import the dashboard component and then we add it to our declarations. Now we'll go to dashboard routing module. We'll import the component and we'll have it route to the dashboard component. The last thing we're going to do is take that path that we used to have for dashboard and I'll separate this out so we can see the difference. And we're going to put the lazy loading path in. Instead of adding the component, we use load children and this is what does lazy loading and we tell it to import the dashboard module and when the dashboard module is imported this is what imports the dashboard component and when its router fires that path goes to dashboard component. And just to finish up I comment out the old way on app routing and we're going to break the server. So I'm going to stop the server and restart it and now we can go between the two. Now let's make sure that it is lazy loaded. So inspect network and I'm going to refresh. So here we see all the files that have loaded. If I hit dashboard and we see a new file loading, we know it's lazy loaded. There we go, and we have the dashboard module. And when we come back, no new files will load. Okay, so that's what it takes to make an app lazy loaded from the start or retroactively. Um, if you have any ideas of projects you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.